Hello, welcome to News 9. I'm Nishchita and first up, after loud protests outside the gates of Bibgyar High in Maratalli, Bengaluriyans took to a more sober form of protesting with a candlelight march. While the protests against this particular school broke out after the alleged rape of a six-year-old girl within the school premises by two of the staff members, many also joined the candlelight march in a protest against the rising number of rape cases in the city. The parents, meanwhile, were trying to get a response from the school authorities who have so far been unresponsive. Just yesterday, the school had stated that they are answerable only to the parents of their students. Ironically, not a single member from the school management addressed the students or the protesting parents today or yesterday for that matter. Well, these were the scenes witnessed as uh, the parents, along with their little children, held a candlelight vigil to raise uh, questions as to what the school was doing to bring the perpetrators to book. My colleague Vergis joins us with more details on this. Well, uh, Vergis, uh, we understand that it is a very, very tough time for these parents. Uh, they are not getting any uh, conclusive answers from uh, the school management. Uh, what are they planning to do now and what is happening at the candlelight march? Nishita, what we know is that at present they have come to this uh, Kundahali main road and uh, they are in fact trying to voice their concerns. A lot of concerns they have. In fact, they want to know why is the government so silent with regards to all that is happening. And it's not only in Vibjia. There are several cases that have been happening and they were shocked. When I spoke to some of the parents, they were shocked to find that during a very important debate in the assembly today, the chief minister was sleeping and that did not go down well. Let us speak to some of the parents who are here. They've in fact uh, taken time out from the uh, time out and they've come to in fact protest over here. Let's speak to a uh, very young mother over here. Ma'am, what has happened so far? The government has not taken any measures as of now and you have a child who's a girl and uh, you have a lot of uh, uh, fear with regards to this. Would you share it with us? I mean, well, I am a, I'm a boy, mother to a boy as well as a girl. It doesn't matter whether it's a boy or a girl. I think everybody's insecure. I mean, if this is the status of the school, I think everybody's insecure. I'm like really worried about the status of like how things are going to be. But then, yeah, I mean, I would like the government and the school, most importantly, the school to take proactive action against this. And uh, I protest that the school hasn't done anything right now. I mean, this is like really such a uh, sympathetic uh, thing. So again, you have the school not taking action. Uh, sir, uh, the school management has been trying to hush up the matter initially they did not reveal it so how shocking is that for you because uh, normally by due course of law they would supposed to hand over at least the people who are culprit involved in this yeah i think this is a very simple incident i think uh, school people also they want to hide this thing i think the, they need to inform police in immediately i think this is very simple i think uh, uh, they, they should hand over the culprit as soon as possible. The police and should co co cooperate with the police, and so that it will give confidence to other parents. We have an elderly gentleman over here. I would like to ask him. He's seen the country grow, the generation grow. But is this the worst that you've seen? Really, we are very much concerned about the justice, the authorities, including school and government, people uh, controlling the law and order. Everyone should take action. We want, we want justice. So again, a reiterated demand for justice is what we are looking at. I have a person who's in fact joined this particular group in solidarity. Uh, and let's ask what made him join this uh, particular protest. There's so much anger. It's a small child. And the immediate story you heard was of complete insensitivity from the school. And you know, actually, I would say even now the police is also very insensitive. When we asked them what is the status of the investigation, all we got was the law is going to take its own course. So this complete insensitivity, it angers me, and that is why I'm here. So insensitivity, lack of action by the police, and uh, there is no one to in fact hear the cry of this six-year-old. That has been the concern of the parents. If their children are not safe over here, how is it possible for the government to in fact uh, assure them of any kind of safety in this country? That has been one of the crucial things that they've been asking. You see a cross-section of people of different age groups in fact over here. There are families also over here. There are people who've come to protest over here in solidarity for uh, the cause of the six-year-old old who's been brutally raped and yet the uh, the shocking part of it is that nothing is being carried in the media we want the school name should be published in the media media is 
not declaring properly school name is Vibgyor. They are telling each part, part of Bangalore. We want that at least you should spread the name of school, group of school. So there we have it. They want a lot of uh, opinions coming out how this entire thing has to be handled. And uh, we, of course, have a lot of people, a lot of people who have in fact come here. People have joined in in middle of this protest also. It started off from the school premises and now it's come to the main road. And uh, this candlelight, uh, candlelight uh, vigil is in fact to ensure that people hear the cry of that six-year-old. I have another youngster with me who had spoken earlier and uh, he also was quite worried at the way things are moving on. Let's listen to his opinion. Actually, the thing is, first of all, I don't know whether the status of this, you know, thing all is happening. Police are not giving any statement to us that like whether they have, you know, detained that fellow, arrested that accused also. Second thing, you know, they were in the morning, they were given a statement like half of the time we stay at this protest site, half of the time we spent there. So we don't have time to investigate. So if this, you know, such, this is the sensitivity of these policemen who, you know, who are responsible to work on this. They say half of time we put on this protest site. So if this shows their behavior. Another thing is that nobody is talking about the action taken on the this management of this institute, you know, they tried to hide this issue and they tried to show at the parents that you signed on one damn paper which shows that we were not responsible for the thing. So, you know, they tried to cover up by these things and try to threaten the parents that, you know, we signed on this paper. Now, this paper is above the parliament, this is a paper is above the Supreme Court of India. And so, we will, we are not responsible for doing anything. First of all, what this government is doing in this case, if all of the Bangalore parents are bound to sign on these papers, why the no action taken on the management of the, all the schools? You know, what the government is doing, our CM is sleeping actually. So as you can see over here, we, they have the concern with regards to this paper, this bond that they have signed, where the responsibility of the school is totally taken away from uh, uh, taking uh, taking charge of the children who are in their care. But don't you find it very ironical, I'm asking the parents over here, that uh, you pay a huge fees. This is this school doesn't come cheap. You pay a huge fees uh, to get your awards admitted to here, and yet you have to sign a paper that says that the school will not be responsible for anything that is happening. So there seems to be a clearly no indication with regards to the amount of money you pay at the same time uh, the kind of responsibility the school is uh, going to take on this matter your take sir yeah my take is uh, all the accused should get arrested immediately and accused includes the school management also because they tried hiding this issue second thing uh, 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 second thing is the fast and the fair probe and the probe need to be done from a trusted authority the third thing is as a parents I want uh, the corrective action to be taken from the school management with the discussion and agreement with the parents. And these corrective action need to be implemented. O only after that, we will send our, our kids to the school. Otherwise, we will not send our kids to the school. So th again, they want to assure themselves that uh, they will be able to, in fact, uh, be uh, get that kind of clear agreement that they want from the school with regards to that safety. Again, I the question that I want to always reiterate with parents is that don't you think the school is shirking responsibility by, in fact, even though you pay huge fees, they're shirking their responsibility by making you sign that particular bond? I'm not regarding this school and everything. There is these culprits should be morally punished. Then only other people will dare to do it. Else, these things will keep on happening, and we will always keep this, these kind of things and walk here and there. These people should, this culprit should be punished morally. That is not. Want to add one more sentence. See, the, the condition is if something happened which is not in hand. Let's say when the van is going on, some accident happens, so then they cannot take response. That's all understood. But this looks to me. I read in the paper. This looks to me a perfect planned act. So they cannot say that we are not responsible. So there you go, responsibility factor out over here and also a, quite a lot of anger with regards to what was happening and the kind of shirking of responsibility that has occurred over here. Back to you, Nishita. Well, thank you, Vargis, for joining us with all those uh, details. Well, there we have it, uh, parents holding a candlelight uh, vigil there in Manatahalli. And uh, not just the parents of the school, but uh, also several other civilians are joining in uh, to be part of this protest as they want to make their voices heard. They want to go on to send, a, they want to send out a point, uh, send out a message that such incidents will not be taken too lightly by the city.